Well, alright folks, it's been a while, eh? <clears throat> no Grandpa Gary G in the UP. Pottery show. Taking the kiln down show. Almost, uh, uh, looking at these here. Now these are about a single brick. These are my splits. But they're as thick as a brick. <laughs> Oops, they're pieces. I think I'm not keeping these pieces, but uh, they are valuable. And you don't have to cut one. Alright, so what do we... Amen. Some are thicker than others, older ones. Suppose I ought to sort them out. be about 40 of them, 40 or so, and then show you some more things here we got. I can take a break, huh? I'm going to take you on a walkabout. Let me get my coffee. So, over there, now we got not many insulating fire brick left. A few. And then what I got is some fiber blanket. Fiber blanket down there in the bucket. And I'll just put a couple of insulators in there and kind of kill two birds with one stone. That's the scraps in there that were pretty good shape. Well, some of it's powdered from... <laughs> I don't know. I'm crazy keeping this shit, but it's good insulation. This shit's lightweight, dude. This is lightweight. Goes in this box about 60 pounds, ends up insulating brick and a whole couple of splits, actually. Four and a half. Four and a half splits. That's what we get. That's all. And then, uh,. Most everything else is moved away around on up to, uh, well, up to here. Yeah, we got her almost done. Then I got the furniture. Right here. That's the posts, soaps, all of them cut. That's about a thousand pounds right there. Some boards from the studio. And then if I put a, about a thousand pounds in here, it'll hold 1,200 couple of boxes of IFB back there. That's about it. It'd be a small footprint. 
in the van, but it's uh, just under the load limit. And those are specially cut. So it's worth it to keep them. We use the trailer over here for hauling most of them. All the pallets of brick from here we had sitting there. We moved it from here down to the farm, the gravel pit down below, down that way. The Hayes gravel pit. Doc Hayes said I could uh, put it where he ain't going to build. All right, well, <laughs> there it is, almost. Still got some of this Walmart plastic. It's good. I'll probably donate that to the new kiln site. <laughs> Uh-oh, what did I say? Uh, what did I say? New kiln site? Oh, no. All right, later. Well, so anyway, here's what ended up happening. We got ourselves a load of kiln furniture. <laughs> Hey, so there's some kiln furniture there. We got some blankets, brick in there, brick in there, brick in there, and then some ash. And maybe I'll get another bucket here just to keep the buckets together. But that weighs just about a thousand pounds, 1080. Another couple of hundred here. We're running close to 1200 pounds already. So that's about it. One load like that. Well, but it's all about the weight and the value of these uh, pre cut. I don't have to cut any more kiln posts for a long time. <laughs> Later.